Marcus Aurelius once said, Our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions. Because we can accommodate and adapt, the mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where today we delve into the profound wisdom of Stoicism and explore why we fall. In every journey of greatness, be it in leadership, friendship, or personal growth, we encounter the inevitable force of failure. It's a word that often conjures images of defeat and despair. Yet in the grand tapestry of life, failure is not just a setback. It's a catalyst for evolution, a teacher more potent than success. The greatest minds and souls weren't strangers to failure. They embraced it, learned from it, and emerged stronger. As we navigate through the complexities of life, remember, it's not the absence of failure that defines success, but our response to it. Join me as we uncover the insights of successful individuals and how their failures became the bedrock of their achievements. Let's redefine failure, not as the end, but as a vital step in our journey of growth and self-discovery. Let me share a truth with you, one that you might already sense in your heart. Life, as beautiful as it can be, is not always filled with sunshine and rainbows. It can be a harsh, unforgiving realm. No matter your strength or resilience, life has a way of bringing you to your knees. It's an inescapable reality that neither you, I, nor anyone else can escape the forceful blows of existence. But here's where the essence of our journey lies. It's not about the intensity of the hit we can deliver. Rather, it's about enduring the blows, about how we can be struck down and yet find the strength to stand up and move forward. The true measure of victory lies in our ability to absorb the impact and continue our march forward. This relentless progression, despite all odds, is the true hallmark of triumph. Consider the nature of pain. It's a transient visitor in the grand scheme of our lives. Its duration, whether it lingers for a minute, an hour, a day, or even stretches out over a year, is ultimately finite. Eventually, it fades, giving way to new experiences and feelings. However, if we choose to surrender to it, if we quit, that decision etches a permanent mark on our journey. The line between success and failure is razor thin, a mere half-step too late or too early, a fraction of a second too slow or too fast, can be the difference between achieving our goals or falling short. The opportunities we need, the inches that we strive for, are scattered all around us, in every challenge we face in every moment of our lives. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Seneca, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. This profound insight encapsulates the essence of our struggle. The challenges and hardships we face are not mere obstacles. They are the forge in which our character and resilience are tempered. In modern life, where the pace is relentless, and the pressure's immense, these words ring truer than ever. They remind us that in the face of adversity, we have the opportunity to grow stronger, to develop a fortitude that is unyielding. So as we navigate through the complexities of our contemporary existence, let's embrace the stoic wisdom. Let's recognize that our struggles are not just inevitable, but essential parts of our journey. They are the crucibles that shape us, the trials that test our resolve. In understanding this, we find the courage to face each day with a renewed spirit, to meet each challenge with a steadfast heart. We learn to see each setback not as a defeat, but as a step on the path to greater understanding and inner strength. This perspective is not just a philosophy. It's a practical, actionable approach to life that can guide us through the toughest of times. Remember that life's journey is not about avoiding the storms, but about learning to dance in the rain. It's about finding the strength to keep moving forward, no matter how hard we're hit. It's about understanding that pain is temporary, but quitting lasts forever. Embrace the stoic mindset and let it guide you through the ebbs and flows of life. With this approach, you'll find that the challenges you face are not just bearable, but are the very experiences that forge your resilience and character. You gotta dream, you gotta protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. If you want something, go get it. Period. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, 
but don't be afraid of making decisions. You have to believe that something different can happen. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. This powerful statement encapsulates the essence of Stoicism and the relentless pursuit of one's goals. It's a reminder that the journey towards achieving your dreams is often littered with naysayers and self-doubt. Yet, the key to overcoming these obstacles lies in the unwavering belief in oneself and the courage to persist despite failures. Stoicism teaches us that our perception shapes our reality. Thus, believing in our capabilities is paramount. Most of you said that you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad, then you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. Most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond Misha. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. This is the human tendency to yearn for success without the willingness to enter the sacrifices it demands. It's a stark portrayal of how often our desires are overshadowed by our craving for immediate gratification and comfort. Stoicism, however, encourages embracing discomfort as a pathway to growth. It's about understanding that true success and fulfillment come from the pursuit of virtue and excellence, not from fleeting pleasures or societal approval. In the context of Stoicism, these teachings resonate deeply. Stoicism isn't just about enduring hardships, it's about recognizing that within every challenge lies an opportunity for personal growth and development. It teaches us to focus on what we can control, our actions, thoughts, and responses, and to let go of what we cannot. This philosophy encourages us to view failures not as setbacks, but as essential steps in the journey toward self-improvement. Now consider the story of Thomas Edison, whose journey to invent the light bulb was fraught with thousands of failures. Yet, he famously remarked, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This epitomizes the Stoic mindset, viewing each failure as a learning opportunity, a stepping stone towards ultimate success. Similarly, in the realm of sports, Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, was cut from his high school basketball team. Instead of succumbing to defeat, he used this rejection as fuel to work harder, eventually becoming an iconic figure in basketball. His story is a testament to the stoic belief that our reactions to adversity, not the adversity itself, define our path. In conclusion, the journey to achieving your dreams is fraught with challenges and setbacks. Embrace these as opportunities for growth. Remember, it's not the external events that disturb us, but our judgment about them. As Stoics, we must cultivate resilience, focus on what we can control, and persist in the face of adversity. Let these stories and teachings be your guide, inspiring you to rise each time you fall and to pursue your dreams with unwavering determination and a Stoic resolve. To delve into the essence of resilience and the pursuit of personal fulfillment, let's embark on a journey of introspection and determination. Picture yourself at a crossroads, where the path you choose is a testament to your innermost desires and aspirations. Ask yourself, who do I who do I yearn to become? This isn't just about setting goals or chasing dreams. It's about uncovering what genuinely brings joy to your soul, no matter how unconventional it might seem to others. It's about making a conscious choice, a decision that defines not just your ambitions, but also the very core of your being. Why limit yourself? Why not aspire to be the most valuable player in your field, the pinnacle of your profession? There's no reason why these aspirations can't be within your reach. Reflect on the wisdom imparted to a young soul. Life's battles aren't won by the strength of your blows, but by your capacity to endure, to absorb the hits life throws at you and to keep forging ahead. It's about resilience, the ability to take life's hardest punches and still stand tall. When you're knocked down, the true test is in rising again. Never surrender to defeat. You have the choice to remain in the shadows battered by life's trials or to fight your way back into the light. Imagine climbing out of the depths of despair, inch by inch, with unwavering determination. This journey mirrors the Stoic philosophy, where the focus is not on what happens to us but on how we respond. 
As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In the face of adversity we find our true strength. It's not the obstacles that define us but how we tackle them. Our struggles are the forge in which our character is tempered and our resolve is strengthened. In this pursuit remember that the path to greatness is often solitary and fraught with challenges. It's a path where your convictions are tested and your spirit is tried. But in this solitude, you find your true strength. As Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, advised, he who is brave is free. Bravery here isn't just about heroic acts. It's about the courage to pursue what makes you truly happy, despite the odds. So as you navigate through life's tumultuous seas, hold fast to your inner compass. Let your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. Embrace the journey with the knowledge that each setback is a stepping stone to greater heights. Your resilience is your armor, your willpower, your sword. Forge ahead with the conviction that every challenge is an opportunity to grow, to rise, and to emerge stronger. In conclusion, remember that the essence of this journey is not just in reaching the destination, but in the transformation that occurs along the way. As you strive towards your goals, let the Stoic wisdom guide you. Embrace challenges as opportunities. Rise after every fall, and above all, stay true to your chosen path. This is the essence of living a fulfilled life. One where every setback is a lesson and every victory, a testament to your resilience and determination. To embark on a journey of transformation and self-improvement, one must be prepared to sacrifice their current self for the person they aspire to become. This path is not for the faint-hearted, as it demands unwavering commitment and resilience. Many falter on this journey not because they lack talent but because they give up too soon. When the rigors of study weigh heavily and fatigue sets in, the easiest option seems to be to quit. It's a common refrain. I'm not good at math, Mo, but this is often a self-imposed limitation, stemming from a lack of persistent effort. I'm no good at writing, one might say, but how can proficiency be attained without consistent practice? Talent is a natural gift. But skill is a sculpture crafted through relentless dedication and hours of honing one's abilities. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This quote resonates deeply with our journey. It reminds us that the obstacles we face are often magnified by our hesitations and fears. Our existence gains meaning and purpose when we strive to enhance the lives of others. If our actions do not contribute positively to someone else's life, we must question the value of our pursuits. In moments of hardship and despair, it's easy to consider giving up. However, it's crucial to channel that pain into a driving force to persevere. Tears should not be shed over the temptation to quit, but rather over the relentless pursuit of our goals. Pain and struggle are inevitable but they are also the crucibles in which our character and determination are forged. Understanding your worth is the first step in claiming what you deserve. However, this journey is not devoid of challenges. You must be prepared to face setbacks and criticisms without resorting to blame. Pointing fingers at others is a coward's way out. And that is not who you are. You are capable of much more, and it's essential to rise above such tendencies. In our modern lives, these lessons are more relevant than ever. We live in a world that is fast-paced and often unforgiving. The principles of Stoicism teach us to focus on what we can control and to let go of what we cannot. In the face of adversity, it's vital to remember that our reactions and attitudes are within our control. This mindset is not only empowering but also liberating. As you navigate through life's challenges, Remember that the journey towards self-improvement and making a difference in others' lives is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires patience, persistence, and a stoic resolve. The path may be strewn with obstacles, but each hurdle is an opportunity to grow stronger and more resilient. Embrace these challenges, for they are the stepping stones to your ultimate success and fulfillment. In conclusion, 
the journey of self-improvement and contributing positively to the lives of others is a noble and fulfilling pursuit. It demands dedication, resilience, and a stoic mindset. Remember, it's not the talent you are born with, but the skills you develop through hard work and perseverance that define your success. In the face of adversity, let your pain be the catalyst for growth and never lose sight of your worth and potential. As you walk this path, carry with you the wisdom of the Stoics and let it guide you towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. Every day heralds the dawn of a new era, each moment a fresh opportunity. It's time to step into the world and demonstrate your transformation. This very instant, let me unveil the magnitude of my potential. The 17th chapter of St. Luke encapsulates a profound truth. The kingdom of God is within man, not isolated to a single individual or a select group, but residing in everyone. In you, you, the collective, wield the power to forge machines, to sculpt happiness. You possess the strength to turn this existence into a realm of freedom and beauty, to transform life into an extraordinary odyssey. Now. The question arises, what will you do with this power? Remember, perceived limitations and fears are often mere illusions, shadows of the mind that dissipate upon closer inspection. Consider the story of the mighty oak tree, which once was just a small acorn. That acorn held within it not just the potential to grow, but to withstand storms and harsh weather, growing stronger with each challenge. Similarly, we often fall not because we are weak, but because falling is a part of growing stronger, of becoming that mighty oak ourselves. In the realm of Stoicism, this concept is mirrored in the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, who famously said, Our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions, because we can accommodate and adapt. The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. This encapsulates the Stoic belief in embracing challenges, transforming them into opportunities for personal growth and resilience. In our journey through life, we encounter various trials and tribulations. These are not mere hindrances, but are essential to our growth. They are the forge in which our character is tempered and our resilience is honed. Like the acorn, we must embrace the storms of life, for they are what enable us to grow into the mighty oaks we are destined to become. In conclusion, the essence of this message is not just about falling or the inevitability of challenges in life. It's about rising each time we fall, about recognizing the inherent power within us to overcome obstacles and create a life of meaning and fulfillment. As you navigate through life's journey, remember that each fall is an opportunity to rise stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Embrace these moments, for they are the stepping stones to your greatness. Let this be a guiding principle in your life, a beacon that lights your path in the darkest of times, and a reminder that in every moment of adversity lies the seed of an equal or greater opportunity. Each of us has encountered failure at least once in our lives in one way or another. Failure makes us think of something negative, but on the contrary, it can also help us progress. It is from these failures that mankind has achieved the remarkable evolution we see today. Successful people do not mean they have never failed, and whenever you find yourself in a difficult situation or facing failure, remember the following quotes to see what successful people think about failure in their lives. Everything is hard before it becomes easy. In the wise words of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, everything is hard before it becomes easy. This profound statement encapsulates a fundamental truth that resonates deeply with the principles of Stoicism and serves as a guiding beacon for those aged 30 to 65, embarking on the journey of self-improvement and resilience. The path to mastery in any field is invariably paved with challenges and obstacles. It is a journey that demands perseverance, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to growth. The initial phase of being unskilled, often perceived as a hurdle, is in fact a crucial starting point. It's a phase where one learns to embrace the discomfort of not knowing, to find strength in vulnerability, and to see every struggle as an opportunity for development. Incorporating a Stoic perspective, let us recall the words of Seneca. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. 
it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This quote seamlessly aligns with Goethe's sentiment, reinforcing the idea that our mental barriers often pose greater challenges than the actual task at hand. In the modern world where change is constant and uncertainty is a given, these words serve as a powerful reminder to face our fears, to step out of our comfort zones, and to approach life's trials with courage and resilience. Expanding on this, it's essential to understand that the process of learning and growth is not linear. It is filled with ups and downs, successes and setbacks. Just like a stoic, one must learn to maintain a serene mind amidst these fluctuations. Embracing the stoic practice of viewing obstacles as opportunities, we can transform our mindset to see each challenge not as a setback, but as a stepping stone towards our goals. The shift in perspective is crucial for personal and professional development, especially for those in the 30 to 65 age bracket, who often juggle multiple responsibilities and face diverse challenges. In conclusion, the journey from being unskilled to achieving mastery is a testament to the human spirit's resilience and adaptability. It's a journey that requires patience, persistence, and a stoic mindset. By embracing the wisdom of Goethe and Seneca and applying these timeless principles to our modern lives, we can navigate the complexities of our world with a sense of purpose and tranquility. Remember, the road to success is not about avoiding the falls but about rising every time we fall with more wisdom and strength. Success is not built on success. In the journey of life, we often encounter the profound truth that success is not built on success not even from great success. Great success comes from failure, disappointment, and even disaster, as eloquently stated by Sumner Redstone. This powerful quote underscores the paradoxical nature of success, revealing that our lowest points can be the catalysts for our greatest achievements. It's a reminder that the path to success is not linear, but filled with obstacles that test our resilience and determination. Many of us embark on new ventures brimming with enthusiasm and dreams, only to be met with the harsh realities of inexperience and the daunting challenges that lie ahead. This initial excitement can quickly be overshadowed by fear and doubt, leading to a waning of our initial zeal. It's a common tale. The journey begins with a burst of energy, but at the first sign of difficulty, that energy dissipates leaving behind a trail of disappointment and unfulfilled potential. However, it's in these moments of despair and failure that the seeds of success are sown. History is replete with stories of individuals who faced immense challenges yet emerged victorious. Consider the story of Thomas Edison, who famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His relentless pursuit of the electric light bulb, despite numerous setbacks, is a testament to the power of perseverance and learning from failure. Similarly, in the realm of Stoicism, we find the story of Zeno of Sidium, who after a shipwreck turned his loss into an opportunity to study philosophy in Athens, eventually founding the Stoic school of philosophy. His resilience in the face of disaster laid the foundation for a philosophical movement that continues to inspire millions today. These stories resonate with a universal truth, that our greatest triumphs often arise from the ashes of our greatest defeats. They teach us that failure is not the end but a stepping stone to success. As we navigate through life's challenges, it's essential to remember that every setback is an opportunity to learn, grow, and ultimately, triumph. In conclusion, the lesson for our audience is clear. Embrace your failures as opportunities for growth. Understand that the road to success is paved with challenges, and it's your response to these challenges that defines your journey. Let your setbacks be your motivation, and remember, in the words of Sumner Redstone, that great success often comes from disaster. Keep pushing forward, and let each fall be a stepping stone to a greater height. How do you accept it failed? In our journey through life, we often encounter hurdles and setbacks. It's not the stumbling that defines us, but rather how we rise after the fall. As Abraham Lincoln wisely stated, the first thing I want to know is not how you failed, but how you accepted it. Life in its unpredictable nature throws a myriad of challenges our way. 
These obstacles, often perceived as failures, are in fact stepping stones to our growth. Failure in its essence is not about the mishaps or the unmet expectations. It's about our response to these setbacks. The true measure of our character is not in how we avoid failure, but in how we embrace it. It's in maintaining a positive outlook even in the face of adversity. When we falter, it's crucial to maintain clarity of thought. Understanding the reasons behind our failures is the first step towards overcoming them. It's about facing these challenges head-on, without resorting to avoidance or casting blame. This approach aligns seamlessly with the Stoic philosophy, where the emphasis is on personal responsibility and learning from every experience. Stoicism teaches us that our reaction to events is within our control, even if the events themselves are not. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This perspective is vital in understanding why we fall. It's not just about the fall itself, but about gathering the wisdom and strength from each setback. In this light, every failure becomes a lesson, a chance to grow and evolve. It's about dissecting these experiences, understanding their nature and applying the learned lessons to future endeavors. This process of continuous learning and adaptation is what shapes us into resilient and enlightened beings. So, as we navigate through life's ups and downs, let's remember that falling is an integral part of our journey. It's an opportunity to demonstrate our resilience, to practice the stoic principles of acceptance and growth, and to emerge stronger and wiser. Remember, it's not the fall that defines us, but how we choose to rise from it. Failure is the spice that gives success its flavor. Truman Capote, a renowned author, once profoundly stated, Failure is the spice that gives success its flavor. This insightful observation resonates deeply with the Stoic philosophy, reminding us that life's adversities are not just inevitable but essential. They are the contrasting backdrop against which the tapestry of our achievements is displayed. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Imagine life as a vast ocean. Our failures and setbacks are like the tumultuous waves that threaten to overturn our boat. Yet, it is through navigating these rough waters that we learn to sail skillfully. Without these challenges, our journey would be a mere drift in calm waters, devoid of growth and mastery. The Stoic approach teaches us to embrace these waves, not with resignation, but with a resilient spirit, understanding that each struggle is an opportunity to fortify our character and wisdom. In this modern era, where success is often portrayed as a smooth, linear ascent, it's vital to remember that the path is typically winding and rugged. It's filled with pitfalls and detours that are not merely obstacles, but stepping stones to greater heights. When we stumble and fall, it's an invitation to rise stronger and more enlightened. This perspective is not just philosophical musing, it's a practical approach to life. It encourages us to view each setback as a lesson each failure as a moment of learning. So, as we journey through life, let us hold on to this wisdom. Let's remind ourselves that the bitter moments add depth to the sweet ones. They make our successes more meaningful and our achievements more gratifying. As we face life's challenges, let's do so with the serenity and resilience of a stoic, knowing that in every fall lies the potential for a remarkable rise. This mindset is not just for overcoming obstacles, but for transforming them into the very milestones of our success story. In conclusion, let us embrace life's ups and downs with the understanding that our falls are not the end, but essential parts of our journey. They are what make our eventual rise not just triumphant, but truly worthwhile. Remember, in the grand scheme of life, every fall is a setup for an even greater comeback. Failure will be a challenge. In the stirring words of Amelia Earhart, I know what danger is, but I want to do it because I want to. Women, like men, must challenge themselves. When they fail, that failure will be a challenge for others. This profound statement encapsulates a vital lesson in stoicism and resilience. It's not just about the act of falling or failing, 
It's about the inherent value and learning that comes from these experiences. Earhart's perspective sheds light on the stoic belief that our struggles and failures are not just personal setbacks, but they are also opportunities for growth and learning, both for ourselves and for those who witness our journey. Imagine a climber, determined to reach the peak of a formidable mountain. Each slip, each misstep is not just a personal challenge, but a lesson etched into the mountain's history, guiding future climbers. This allegory mirrors our life's journey. Our falls are not merely obstacles, they are essential chapters in our story, teaching us resilience, patience, and the art of rising again with more wisdom. In a similar vein, consider the ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca, who once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This ties beautifully with Earhart's sentiment. It is in the daring, in the facing of difficulties head-on, that we find true growth. Our failures are not the end. They are stepping stones to greater understanding and strength. To the audience of Stoic in Your Life, this message is particularly resonant. As Stoics, we embrace the ebbs and flows of life, understanding that each fall is a lesson in disguise. We learn not only to accept these moments, but to value them, knowing that they contribute to our overall growth and the betterment of those around us. Let us take Earhart's words to heart. Let us dare to face challenges, understanding that our failures are not defeats, but lessons for us and those who follow. They are the forge in which our stoic resilience is tempered. As we navigate through life's journey, let us remember that each fall is an opportunity to rise stronger, wiser, and more equipped to handle the challenges ahead. This is the essence of Stoicism, and it is a lesson that can profoundly improve our lives. Success and failure are but two sides of the same coin. In the journey of life, we often encounter moments of defeat and despair, moments that test our resolve and challenge our spirit. It's in these moments that the words of Thomas Edison resonate profoundly. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they decided to give up. This powerful statement serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us that success and failure are but two sides of the same coin, often indistinguishable until the very end. Imagine you're climbing a mountain, each step harder than the last. Your muscles ache, your breath is short, and the peak is nowhere in sight. It's tempting to think that the summit is too far, that your efforts are in vain. But what if just a few more steps ahead the peak awaits? This is the essence of Edison's wisdom. It's a call to embrace perseverance, to recognize that our greatest triumphs could be just beyond the point where we feel most defeated. In the realm of Stoicism, this idea finds a kindred spirit. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Seneca's words echo the sentiment that our mental barriers often overshadow our potential. When faced with adversity, a Stoic finds strength, not in immediate victory, but in the enduring battle against the odds. They understand that the true value lies in the journey, not just the destination. So, as you listen to this, remember that your struggles are not a sign of failure but a testament to your courage to face challenges. Each setback, each fall is an opportunity to rise stronger and wiser. The path to success is littered with obstacles, but it is these very obstacles that shape us, that prepare us for the triumphs that await. Let this message be a guiding light in your moments of doubt. When you feel like giving up, remember Edison's insight and Seneca's wisdom. Know that you might be closer to your goals than you think and that the journey with all its ups and downs is what forges your character. Embrace your struggles, for they are the stepping stones to your success. Mistakes are the portals of discovery. In the profound words of James Joyce, mistakes are the portals of discovery. This statement resonates deeply with the essence of Stoicism and the journey of self-improvement. It's a reminder that the greatest discoveries of mankind are often born from mistakes, serving as a catalyst for our development. This concept is not just a historical observation, but a living truth in our modern lives. Mistakes in their essence are not just errors, but opportunities. They are the unexpected teachers in the school of life, 
providing lessons that textbooks and theories often fail to impart. In the realm of Stoicism, this perspective is crucial. As a Stoic philosopher might say, he who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. This quote embodies the Stoic attitude towards mistakes and failures. They are not to be feared, but embraced as part of the human experience. In our contemporary world where success is often glorified and failure is frowned upon, embracing mistakes as a path to discovery is revolutionary. It's a mindset that encourages resilience, a quality that is essential in the face of life's inevitable challenges. For individuals aged 30 to 65, who have likely experienced both the highs and lows of life, this message is particularly poignant. It's an invitation to view past mistakes, not with regret, but as stepping stones to greater wisdom and strength. Moreover, this perspective on mistakes aligns with the Stoic practice of reflection and continuous learning. It encourages us to analyze our errors, understand their roots, and derive valuable insights from them. This process of introspection and learning is what transforms a mere mistake into a portal of discovery. It's about finding the silver lining in every cloud and using it to illuminate our path forward. In conclusion, as we navigate the complexities of modern life, let us remember the wisdom encapsulated in Joyce's words and echoed by Stoic philosophy. Let us approach our mistakes with a mindset of growth and discovery seeing them as opportunities to learn, evolve, and ultimately lead a more fulfilling life. This approach not only enriches our personal journey, but also empowers us to share these lessons with others, contributing to a wiser, more resilient community. As we reach the end of our journey today on Stoic in Your Life, let's take a moment to reflect on the powerful messages we've explored. Remember, it's not just about the challenges we face, but how we rise above them, how we learn from our failures, and how we continue to strive for greatness in every aspect of our lives. In the words of these great thinkers, we find the courage to embrace our failures as stepping stones to success. Each failure, each setback, is an opportunity to grow stronger, to become more resilient, and to understand ourselves and our goals more deeply. So as you move forward in your life, carry these lessons with you. Let them guide you through the tough times and remind you that every challenge is an opportunity to demonstrate your strength and your commitment to your path. And now, I invite you to join our community of like-minded individuals on this stoic journey. If you found value in today's video, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to Stoic in Your Life. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos where we'll continue to delve into the profound wisdom of Stoicism and apply it to our modern lives. Together, let's build a sanctuary where ancient philosophy meets the modern hustle. Your engagement and support inspire us to create content that resonates with your journey and helps you navigate life's challenges with a Stoic mindset. Thank you for watching and remember, in the face of adversity, in the moments of doubt, your Stoic spirit is your unwavering guide. Stay strong, stay resilient, and keep moving forward. Until next time, embrace the stoic flow in your life.